What's up guys, John V here from Phone. We know we just got in our Samsung Galaxy S2 4T Mobile, the review unit. So we're just going to do a quick unboxing, show you what the handset's all about. We first checked it out um, not too long, actually a while ago, uh, at Samsung's press event for the unveiling of all three handsets in the U.S. But this guy here was tucked away under glass, so we really couldn't take a look at that. So uh, it's going to be available October 12th, two-year contract price of $229.99, so $30 more than the traditional $200 pricing we're normally used to seeing. But we'll take a look and see how it stacks up. So in terms of the packaging, pretty much straightforward, just like any other high-end smartphone from the carrier. You get a really good representation of the handset on the front, good image of it. Yeah, the Samsung Galaxy S2 name and also the T-Mobile branding right up top. Same thing on the sides, nothing out of the ordinary. In the rear, though, you get some useful features, uh, of course, uh, blazing fast access with HSP Plus connectivity with T-Mobile's 4G network, 4.52 inch uh, high resolution Super AMOLED Plus display, I still think it's uh, a WBJ, nothing really tremendously different about it. Uh, now, instead of using the Samsung Exynos processor, just like the uh, AT&T and Samsung Galaxy Epic Touch 4G, it's uh, going to be using instead the uh, the uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon S3 processor. It's a dual core clocked in at 1.5 gigahertz. Same thing as the Sam as the uh, HTC M8 4G here, in fact. And the uh, handset comes with 16 gigabytes of internal storage, expand all to 48 gigabytes. You have 8 megapixel camera in the back with flash, 2 megapixel front facing camera, HD video capture at 1080p, HDM out, HDMI out. And you have also NFC capabilities with this guy. And if you're in, in business, uh, enhanced exchange server compatibility. So a lot of neat enterprise stuff with the handset. So let's open this guy up. So first thing we see, the handset in plastic. Very similar to the, the Samsung Epic Touch 4G, just because of the larger display, as opposed to the 4.3 inch used by AT&T's version, and even the original model. The back side has a really good rubbery feel to it, kind of a pattern to it. Definitely like this one better than the uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, for at and It just feels a little bit better as far as gripping the handset. So let's take a look, uh, see what the uh, where the battery is here. I believe it's already installed, so let's just open this guy up. There's a notch up top. Now you can tell the cover just comes off just like that. And you could tell here. It has packs, let's see what kind. Let's remove this guy here. And it is an 1850 milliamp hour battery in tow. So a pretty, pretty, pretty large battery in there. Micro SD card slot, SIM card slot, as we said, 16 gigabytes of internal storage. You could supplement that with, uh, with, a, with a micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes in size. So 48 gigabytes total. Let's power this guy on. And take a look. Uh, definitely larger than the than the AT&T version, similar to the Epic Touch 4G in terms of size. Plasticky device, but the rubbery soft back definitely helps it. Looks nice. Very clean handset for the most part. So we'll let that, let that load up while it's doing that. Let's take a look and see what else is in the packaging. So you have a lot of stuff here. And you have your usual documentation. Looks like terms and conditions right there. You also have some more nifty goodies packed into it. Information about Media Hub. You can also get a $10 credit. It's pretty nice when you buy it. Register now the device. You have also the health and safety warranty guide. Some information about their T Mobile recycling program. And of course, the all too familiar start guide. So if you're not used to it, you can check those guys out. There's a, there's a usual set of uh, accessories too. Micro USB cable here. You have also the wall charger. Connect that with that guy. Now it's worth noting, um, it has, you could get video out, but you got to get an MHL adapter for it. And you have headphones here, stereo headphones, nice. And you have replace, the replacement earbuds. So definitely nice thing, just some additional stuff with the handset. So enough of that. Let's take a look at the device. Again, 4.52 inch super super AMOLED plus display. Definitely one of the standout highlights. Colors are very luxurious, deep tones, vibrant, and it's definitely the first thing that captivates our attention. Uh, below that, you have the usual capacitive buttons up top. 
We have the narrow earpiece with the front facing 2 megapixel camera, I believe. You have also, on the left edge, you have the volume rocker, good feel to it, good response as well. Up top, 3.5mm headset jack, looks like a noise cancellation microphone. Left, right hand side, you have a dedicated power button. And below that, you have the microphone, micro USB cable in the rear. That nice uh, grippy, grippy uh, back cover. You have the 8 megapixel autofocus camera, single LED flash on there, speakerphone notch in the bottom. A little bit of a hump, and not as thin as the uh, the AT&T or the at t version of the handset or the original GSM model, but still one street line handset. But it is kind of wide, so if you have smaller hands, you might have some t trouble holding it. Definitely a large handset, but it has a good, good weight, good balance distribution to it, and of course. Uh, even though it packs the uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon S3 processor, dual core 1.5 GHz, it still looks like a pretty fast experience. We definitely like what we saw with the original model with the Exynos uh, processor in tow. So, so far it's looking pretty smooth, but we'll test it out more to see, see how it handles. So if you'd like to learn more about the Samsung Galaxy S2 for T-Mobile, you can check out our website, phonerainer.com. This is John V again. Thanks for watching, guys.